I have very little alcohol in my, but no alcohol in my house right now. So I get an end of something to shut. Um, Good evening. And welcome to Straight No Chaser. We start. We're a little bit, you know, subdued because this is our final episode for the season. And we've been putting it off for a month. A whole month we've been putting it off. What is Ayano's face? My face said you're not subdued. No, no. Especially well, I mean, we all we all got very quiet. Just Listen, some of us might be <laughs> subdued, but not all of us. Some of us. Sorry. I feel like we have to insert the the images and the videos. What? What we've been doing. Unsubdued ism. Yes, our Sunday behavior. Because it's really not even a Saturday. Oh, and there's no hour. Baha and I were not there. Yeah. Anyway, we wasn't there because B is a well-behaved lady, and <laughs> the rest of these hoodlums. WTF, guys? Because I- guys, yeah. welcome to Straight No Chaser podcast. That's what we really meant to say. <laughs> The podcast where we speak to each other just like we do regular day life. <laughs> With no respect. <laughs> Not that always of respect. Who do we have on tonight? Ladies, call your name. Hi. My name's Rohan. <laughs> I'm well behaved. Oh, we started God. with lies of people. Yes. It's B, everybody. What's up? This is Ayana, aka Yans. As I said before, I'm here and I am subdued. And my name is Giselle, and I am apparently on the in the line of target, the line of fire too, because that's how we always start with something about me. Because you always give us content. Uh, I give always oh, something. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not doing that with you. <laughs> doing that with you here tonight. I'll just drink that. But mean? it is the final episode of this season. Woo. Woo, woo. We had a lot of nice episodes. We spoke about a lot of things. And I think it was successful for our very first try, guys. It was. Yeah. been holding it down. Yep, 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 yep. Not everybody was able to make it. However, we are here to do what we usually do, which is to talk a whole pile of nonsense that makes sense. Always, always. Always. So um, if you've never listened to us before, please, 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 please head over to Instagram and follow us at straightnotechaser.podcast and the link in our bio. Make that noise again. The sound effects today. Yeah, the sound effects are great, guys. Come on. Make that sound one more time. You know what I sound like? Tilly? What? I said Tilly. I just, I didn't hear what you said. Me? Yeah, yeah, you are listening to what you said. I said, I said Tilly. Tilly? Yeah, Tilly. What I mean? It's short for a longer government name. Somebody else want to tell them what to do with the link in the bio because oh. that's in ma and ends in ah and it's always in a 6 30. <laughs> so what you're gonna do guys is go to straight no chase podcast on Instagram and you're gonna go to the link and right there you're gonna see all the ways that you can listen to our podcast and even watch it on YouTube. So you can do it on Spotify podcasts and um anchor. <laughs> anywhere where you listen to your podcasts we could take the shot please because okay. what y'all drink it's about to be a fun one tequila oh. as usual oh, you can't see it. As well. oh, oh everybody has tequila i don't have tequila guinness i have tequila if i go get it though you're probably- we are ready. Cheers. Cheers. This is the last one of the season. Ooh. Might need another one of these, yes? 
Oh, I don't like alcohol no more. No, you that just make and drank the spicy polo polo polo. Was that one? The polo polo. I said what I said. Oh, the spicy paloma. That's what I said. Paloma. Yeah, so we have paloma for the cruise, which is something that we're always on on a Sunday, apparently. Apparently, somebody tell me if go somewhere every weekend was a person to be me. Is it that to you? Name well, look at you. Sarah. New names for you, Giselle. We just, we just hyphenating. No problem. No problem. <laughs> Back road. I could take it. I could take it. Mm-hmm. Any horror? What's been going on with you guys? See, now we're here. And we could catch up very quickly. Just been working and then partying on the weekend. And then working while I'm partying on the weekend. It's great to do social media, I guess. <laughs> What have I been up to work? Mostly work and you know life work. Yeah, so. same. Mostly work too. Yeah. Mostly work. I think when when was the last time we hung out when we did the men's episode? Yeah. yeah, so ever since then it's just work, did a little local traveling because you know immigration be stunting on our vibe right now, but yeah, just local traveling and working <laughs> at least you have the option to do that which is nice you know? yeah so just doing california stuff right now okay nice i've also been working and partying on the weekend that's where we are now getting ready to spend money because really and truly realistically the carnival season will pick up and uh, i will go somewhere every weekend probably i don't want that to be my reality but it's probably going to happen so I'm trying to see if I could resist the yeah. every weekendism. I'd I'd like to I'd like to move to abolish going out during the month of June, a little bit, please. All in favor, say aye. Wait, hold on. Be We're going out on Saturday. Come here before the what? end of June. No, no, I won't be there. <laughs> No, no, I just need to know because you know before you abolish that. <laughs> Once be here. Once be here. Uh, I wish. And we are already outside. So we will be wet clothes this time, man. Eh? We'll be a rug. <laughs> just call us welcome. Just, just and you we might as well just sleep outside uh, if we come. Listen, I I don't think you guys understand how badly we want to be in Grenada. And it's just like we think like Every possible way, I like. I think Daryl and I have like research of like, okay, if he goes back to his home country and comes back, what are the you know repercussions? What are like we can't we can't take no any risk. And obviously, I'd like to be a good wife this year, so I don't want to like leave the man behind. Even though I'm like, I get closer and closer to thinking like, well, let me just drop down for two weeks and not come back. But I think that would be very mean. So. Who knows? Maybe something will come up and things will get expedited in some way and we'll end up in Grenada, hopefully soon. And it if I do out. reach, then that means y'all are outside for damn sure. So come back in August, eh, babe? <laughs> I love you. I do, not have the, break. I do not have the capacity. I do not have the capacity. I don't have, I don't have the capacity. Uh, I can't do it no more. Because the outside been outsiding and honestly... People been fretting me. So even when I go outside and I love y'all and I love hanging out with y'all, the rest of the people who have, they don't have no manners. They don't have any brought up. See? And I'm sick of it. <laughs> I'm sick of it. Yeah. yeah. Sick of it. It's, it's a little bit, it's a little bit skanky right now. No, yeah, I think oh. people forgot how to be outside, man. It's, it's extremely frustrating because like, I think we didn't really take the break from outside. Like, yeah, we were on lockdown yeah. for like a of time. But Grenada had no cases for a while. So we were outside since 2020 as things was normal for us. And just running back home like Cinderella at 12 o'clock, <laughs> which is great. I wish, I wish that could you come back home. Oh my God. That 12 o'clock was delicious. Listen, it was nice. <laughs> you get a good night's sleep. You go to work if you had to. I used to wake up so refreshed. Even when the curfew was like two o'clock in the morning. I would like be very drunk because I couldn't handle my life at that point. Like throw up, wake up a beauty queen and work the next day. It was fabulous. 
was waking up on this a beauty queen yeah i wake up one morning my skin was like fresh I was like yes a little vomit we had to do that to him hmm? we had to do that and that was different drink tequila and throw up okay cool that's like a necessary a like detox <laughs> but either way i feel like the people need like rules for outside in and that's why we're here yeah we're here to give you the opinion they didn't ask why but you need it but you need it because <laughs> you're sickening no not you i'm joking oh. <laughs> <laughs> this sick man for them no not these then because these are basically our type of people they understand outside you know they also now one of them definitely does not understand you they so this for you for in the garden you know i feel a little guilty i'm trying to you know in the break that wall you know in the sitcom when they start to talk to the audience yeah, that's what i was trying Oh, okay. I thought it was something else. Bring the fourth wall is what Darren would call it. Right. Hashtag production. So y'all, as summer is like upon us and you know, right on our doorstep and just, you know, a step away into a party. We want to leave with y'all a few rules that we think that you and your crew need. You probably need to tell somebody else because you've seen them act out of pocket in a couple fets here or there. But Israel pays this year because we haven't done this in a while. Some of y'all haven't done it in a long time and you're ready to get back in it. You need to take a breath and act right. Please. <laughs> please. So we have a couple of rules for y'all. Follow them, don't follow them, but please beg you do it. So rule number one, pace yourself. You've been inside since 2020. You don't need to be everywhere. That's just and that is one rule that nobody in this is following world. currently in this <laughs> group right now. <laughs> oh, because even though we are over here doing the most, B, you've been going to back-to-back weddings and, mm-hmm. and traveling and drinking all the alcohols. I, I swear it was like our family just decided to be like, hey, we didn't party for two years. Our whole family didn't travel for two years. <laughs> Let's throw two back-to-back weddings where we can all travel and party and be drunk and hungover. And yeah. But was it a good time? It was a fabulous time. There we go. That's all it needs to be. <laughs> That's all it needs to be. There you go. So room number two. Break up with your man like you'll know if you know you want to outside, outside, eh? You understand? <laughs> what? What? Say it again. Break up with your man or your girl. No, if you know you want to be trifling. Well, Amanda, who typed that one? Because it's in our chat. So who typed that one? I want to say it was somebody with curly hair, but I wouldn't out them. Mm. Okay, cool. So literally any one of us. <laughs> <laughs> any one of all of Okay. Captain Curly. Huh? <laughs> okay. Okay. We if you want to be trifling, indeed. Is yeah. it that you break up with them or you get them to notice that I'm trifling? Yeah. Because you also don't want that headache. If you're, you know, if you're trying to set and be out, out, you don't want to be locked down. Right? Yeah. yeah. So I no hate using time. the word lockdown because that, that does a disservice to the person that's doing said lockdown, but you all know what I mean. Or try to be outside, outside with the person you're with. That could be fun. That could be fun. Finding like a safe, a safe environment to have a third or fourth or fifth is a whole vibe. You know, do we have She's a third, fourth, or fifth. Like... Well, Han, I'm on the same page with you. Yeah. Yeah. There's a, way to, there's a way to be outside together. Together, yeah. Okay, I catch you, I catch you, I catch I you. I got it, I got it. Yes. So no, that's, right, your cool. thing. that's your thing. Do your thing, baby. But I mean, and also, if you're mature enough to have that conversation. I'm not. Don't have that conversation with me. I like monogamy. That's my thing. 
that's why I'm not in it because maybe I like, like even if you like monogamy, there's many ways for you to outside outside with your man or your girl. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. So have that conversation now. But don't go on upset nobody boy or girl child in a carnival season because I mean the kicks the kicks of the fights happening outside the real serious, eh? but we also don't want to see we want to see all your good stuff. We just want everybody to be on pure vibes for this summer 2022, Spice Mass 2022, whatever mass. We just want everybody to have fun. Have fun. There's not fun season, so don't even bother. Also, it's coffin season. Don't forget how to act, eh? Yeah, yeah. It's I also mean, coffin season, though, so... From the few events that we've been going to, people either getting drunk too quick... Yes. They, they before the dance start they fight before the dance start i feel like even the promoters forget a little bit of um how to even throw fe- the real things going on yeah because it's how we reach on our cruise and the music was there way after us and we circle oh. the harbor like some tugboats that's like but that's how it happened twice though it happened twice mm. Promoters, I mean, we didn't have this rule about promoters. Please, if you're going on a cruise, set up your thing the hours before. Please, please. What was it? What was it? What, like a silent cruise? <laughs> I'm so funny. Yeah, so then I would have put on my AirPods and, you know, make my own little vibe. Yeah, boy. I just want to, I want to take a production break right here real quick so that Daryl could put in when, when I am, when, when Rohan say promoters, he could just, Put in the song bite of their promoters, you know, from um voice that's your niche for this niceness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put I in there. It will just be a nice all right. Perfect. Your sound effects are very lovely this time around, you know. Yeah, make that pop in sound again. I don't know why you like it so much. It just makes I don't know, it just something about it sounds rude. It does because it sounds like when I pee inside of a flesh. Yeah, I swear I was thinking the same thing. Uh Oh. I was waiting for one of us to say it. I've been trying to say, but and I'm not. quite surprised it took this long. To be also, honest. don't cut any of this if there's a way to keep it. <laughs> what we tell him, Daryl, is just leave the nonsense. <laughs> just leave the nonsense. <laughs> Unless if he is cringing, then take it out. If you're not cringing, I mean, and nobody cringes after saying it. It's it. a lot to cringe him. A and that's what I'm saying. Cool though, a little cringe. I hope y'all. Cr- I hope. Cringe. I hope we make people cringe a little. We don't make the sound just teach it to us. I wonder, I want to embarrass myself. Like that. <laughs> okay, oh, stop. Stop. anyways, we were talking about silent cruises, right? Uh, Come twice, on. twice in a happen, but really and truly, like we go on a lot of cruises, and there are a lot of cruises that are happening, especially Carnival Saturday. We need y'all to know your timing right. If you know you're not a timely person, get a production person that will keep you on schedule because you need to have the drinks cooled, you need to have ice on board. If you're you going need to, to have a board, DJ on board from the time the people start entering the boat, there should be music. The DJ should not be boarding after the boat has already sailed and come back. But is that on the DJ or on the production team? Yeah, who or the, 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 the promoter, basically. It's, on. it's just because all the DJs attending. reach real late in some places. They are, and that's because they honestly go into they in every fed like a DJ. Uh, uh. Sorry. <laughs> Listen, that is offensive. As someone who is personally friends with an iPod. Okay, Ayana. Ayana, real proud of that one. She's she so should proud be. Of that one. Right, that I'm proud of you one. for saying it. Give me a five, good. though. That was a five. That's a... Come on, you have to. You have to. Come on, come on. Come five on. the camera. Thank you. Just <laughs>
God. Oh, okay. Oof. I just realized that I am the puppy of this group. I am the puppy of this group. <laughs> I am the puppy of this group. I do not mind the comparison, but, but I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that. However, it's okay. It's okay. I'm going to pee myself. I'm pee yourself, <laughs> it's, it's unwarranted, but it's okay. It's okay. Oh, I accept that everything was... that is being thrown at me. Yo, Jans, bravo. And we don't even know the joke. That's the thing. We don't even <laughs> know the joke. You said it. The way she just said it. So imagine how much B would have laughed more if she understood from whence the, 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 the joke came. It's okay, we'll have a sidebar at we'll some point. Sidebar. We don't have a rule tree or a rule two or something. Consume. So let's, yeah. let's just jump let's on go the next rule. Go to the next. So, number three, discuss your pets with your crew. We need to know. Who's going to go? Who's going places? How are we carpooling? What's happening? And we also need to know who's going to be there and how we need to behave. Catch me. Yes. Yeah, that's important. It's important. And I think we, we will, we'll, 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 we'll work on our little carnival calendar. You know? We got to get it out. We got to figure out our fets. We got to figure out how much money we're spending. We're going to broke yourself this carnival. I, I, I am actually considering just cashing out early simply because I find we didn't take the break that we were supposed to take when we were supposed to take it we did and now it just looks like we outside infinito yes I wanted to I wanted to end I'll and say that. the minute carnival comes around the corner the plan and was to be ass on grass. in June and blame you be but since you're not coming we really just outside on purpose and I don't like it. So then that means all that time y'all were blaming me last year doesn't hold because y'all do it. As well. No, be it holds, okay? Because we do not have, need to be outside every day of the week smoking hookah in Lavo. My lungs, my lungs cannot take it any longer. I have given up. I was never participating in that level of Yeah, work. she was not. Well, and me, she... She got lucky because she was far further away. She's so further she away. They wouldn't bother her. Giselle didn't have any excuse because I was the one that would pick her up on the way. So I would literally just show up. And then you were down the street. So <laughs> I have no excuses. You know, ex- no one, there's no way anyone could give me an excuse. Oh, God. Oh, we're man. moving on. Moving on, guys. So, rule number four. Make sure you have someone to keep you from falling if you know you're the six thirty one. Hold your chair, hold your chair, hold your chair, hold your chair ready. We could have leave that. Well, no, 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 your name, no, no, because no. I take in front, I take in front, I take in front, I take in front. Six thirty one. Your name is six forty five. <laughs> I have hey, on the today. No, I'm <laughs> because you know Giselle has been over, but it looks like she just be trying to make her way right around the clock. And that is why she sweep the ground of the come the man. We Aww. got over that. We passed that. Sweep the ground. She sweeps with all this. She's the cleanup crew. Oh. Because I don't understand oh. to this day. To this day. Love you. But right. it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't the next one. Let me move on. We move it on. We move it on. So, y'all, <laughs> hold tight. Number five and six rolling in together, okay? <laughs> <clears throat> I'm going to read it as quickly as possible because it needs to, it needs to come out the way it came up on the chat. <laughs> so, B, rule number five, ignore you up text. Giselle, rule number five, assess your surroundings. Don't be the jackass trying to encroach on a group space. Are you the brown girl in the ring? Me. <laughs> rule number six, don't ignore it if you want to get hit. <laughs> Giselle, rule number six, ignore rule number five by B. 
<laughs> do it again, do it again, do it again. From the top, make a jump that somewhere. Yes. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> B, rule number five, ignore you up text. Giselle, rule number five, assess your surroundings. Don't be the jackass trying to encroach on a group space. Are you the brown girl in the ring? Rule number six by me, don't ignore it if you want to get head. Don't ignore what? The, the, the rule head. number five, yeah. Okay. You because we don't, are, because don't we... give head. B said, but don't give head. Giselle said, rule number six, ignore rule number five by B. Okay, so we give in head. And we, we were thinking you were upset. We lost you. We lost Diana. Like... And then no. I said, and then I said, we answering you up text whole summer 22. If, if 2022 going to be a movie, let it be a porno. Oh my goodness, I'm too loud. Guys. What happened, you two? Who, who let us be us? No. <laughs> I'm here trying to set limitations. <laughs> Y'all just went like balls to the wall. Like, Don't answer me. No, but like, honestly, like if you get you up text, is like spice, mass and Grenada, is summer and wherever. I mean, you up, you want to go for some drinks? You know that. Get out of here. Drink is in his pepes. Is a drink called pepes? <laughs> oh, God. Y'all are also <laughs> Ayana has literally <laughs> sunk down out of her chair and is no longer in the literally slid out of her chair. Wow, wow, wow. Man down, man down. Man down. Talking her own stupidness. <laughs> Honestly, we're not allowed to be okay. I think this is the strongest Guinness I've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> I was just trying to protect y'all because how many times count? The ratio to you up text have actually led to fun times. All? I'm trying to get those texts though. I mean, not all because sometimes it's but no, but that's only because like you up no. You know, I actually see them, but yeah, most like, times you gotta give the tussle. You have to be like, nah, I'm not. Or but don't do that. Hey, day. don't do that. Look at me in my face. Don't do that. That's what she just said. Don't do that. Don't do that. I want to play those games because y'all know I'm captain fall asleep. So if I'm up, I'm up. And it's stuck. If it's yeah. up, then it's stuck. Okay. <laughs> and she went. And it better be stuck up there with me because it just makes sense. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize. So rule number seven, you are always up. <laughs> that makes sense. That is what I'm saying. And You're always up. Said. Who said that? You. Oh, you're always, always up, man. What was that? What was that? You're always up. Come on, B. Yes. Hold on. B said, "Don't answer if they ignore you in public." Giselle Ooh. said, "Answer if you ignore them the same way." Okay. We like the tussle. <laughs> like the tussle. If that's the if that uh, if that's our thing, then that's our thing. And on top of that, if we sneak Lincoln, we sneak Lincoln. We don't talk in public, you know, my friend. Now, this but is I'm a good high, place high, for a shameless plug that nobody asks for because they have a whole song about us kneeling. And uh, we're not we're not plugging it. You know what? We're not plugging it. We're not plugging it. Pause. Daryl broke here. We're not plugging it. We're not plugging it. No, we're not plugging it. So if you have anything to say about the Sneaky Link song, say what you have to say about the Sneaky Link song, especially Ayana. I don't know the song. Or remind okay, me. Okay, great. You don't know the song. It's fine. You know, great. I don't know how to sneaky, yeah? I only know how to link. <laughs> Daryl, keep that in. <laughs> That's a good one. I don't know how to be sneaky. We should, like, one of these days on IG put, like, quotes that all of us have said. Yes, I want to wear it on t-shirts. Can we wear it for next season on t-shirts? Yeah. Oh my yeah, gosh, can we have a behind that t-shirt? Yes. <laughs> Please. Yes. I want a behind that t-shirt. Definitely want that. We're doing t-shirt quotes. Definitely. 
definitely. Okay. While we're on break, we're going to do, we're still going to work, guys. You know? Okay. Anyway, let's move on. We're moving yes. on. Rule number eight. <clears throat> Ease us up with the Peru para because we are done. We are over it. We cannot. <laughs> I take this one. I want to take charge on this one. So hi, good evening. My name is Giselle. I love music, right? Anybody would tell you, look at my friend's facial expressions. They would tell you, I love it to death, right? So right now, Afrobeats running over, which is great. The music is amazing. It has been running for many years. But we move. Anyway. I'm asking the music players, right? The music players in particular. When you're going into our Afrobeat se session, which is amazing, we want to hear the no TTs and stuff, but then I know the exact progression of the songs that you are going to use. Sometimes the order might change slightly, but <laughs> if you don't start with finesse, if I broke number business, you're starting with Perupara. Right? And it's a downward trajectory after that. I'm begging you. Please do not Peru para me to them. But, 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 Giselle, the DJ man want to know when you want me. <laughs> and this is where we end the show. Have Good a night, really guys. summer, guys. <laughs> and that's where it is. <laughs> you want know. Oh, <clears throat> all right but it's true because right? we really will peru para to death at a party oh that's a problem over here too it's just been it's a even great radio it's, it's great it should be played everywhere but at a party if we play a drinking game with how many times we've heard peru para we effed up and like be on the floor like we should play a drinking game <laughs> Yeah, not really, but yeah. <laughs> anyway, so number nine, <clears throat> if you use a Rasta man, call Giselle. Thanks, guys. I mean, I'm pretty but sure. I don't expect a text back. I'm pretty sure anyone that has even spent 30 seconds with Giselle knows that rule. Yeah, I think so. I have changed my ways in recent. Time. <laughs> and which, she which saved this from the heart. <laughs> the art. Oh, oh you joining it too? You joining Ayana? <laughs> because when I ready to rinse out, eh? just remember that. <laughs> when I ready, <laughs> all in the spin cycle, but when I ready to rinse. Okay. Memory <laughs> rules and pizza, please. Honestly, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, we just talk shit and doing this just be fun. <laughs> but I never laugh as much as I laugh at this. I love you, you know, I text you, but check your phone now. I know, that's it, that's it. Yeah, cool, thanks. Um, oh, no. okay. What's in this? What's in this? To the people who don't understand what's happening, it's a lot of inside jokes, and most of them right now are targeted towards me. And um, so <laughs> if you see me go quiet, it's because I try real hard, real hard to not laugh at myself and also not to give away myself. I can't do want to give away myself too much too now. So yeah. But yeah, yeah, cool things, cool things, cool things. But if you are as a man, please call me. I don't do good with text messages, apparently. Oh. What's the next rule? The next rule is rule number 10. Take turns getting on. This may not be the fit for you to get on, but the next one will be. Definitely. Somebody has to be responsible. Somebody, somebody has to be the designated driver. Somebody has to be the designated take the phones. Uh, somebody has to be the designated review take this text message, this text message before I send it. Uh. Somebody mm -hmm. has to be the designated. Please prevent your friend from 6.13 and falling all the way over. Ah. Yeah. Sometimes you have to take you have to take the sober out. Yeah, yeah. you do. Yeah. yeah. And also you need to be able to remove yourself from situations, put yeah. yourself in situations. Like every get on is not your get on. It's not, yeah. Yeah. Not your extra get on. You could be glad and thing, but 
a little awareness would help you. Look out for your crew. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Look at a situation possibly brewing. Just know that, or you know, it should be in your heart that you know you love your friends and you're like, I don't want them in any position. So if they get in drunk right now to forget some things and then they step out of pocket, yeah, at least they're to pull them back. Yeah. Like I, every time I would say that y'all can't leave me unattended. So it's not that you can't leave me unattended, I wouldn't die, you know what I mean? But as just as get into things. And so just check on your friends, make sure that do, do what Amy does do. Just do I need to take your phone? Yes. Yes, and talk to you on the she, over she arms. Um, over she, uh, over, over she glasses. Just uh, <laughs> shout out to our girl Amy. Every time Amy watch you and talk to you over she glasses, she's serious. Get it together. Yeah, get it together. <laughs> I don't know what's happening she here. When these things come answer. out, so what? What's happening? <laughs> what? No, that's how she's doing it with the fingers when she try to figure. Oh, she does this. Yeah, she's like, I don't know what's happening here. What's happening? <laughs> Shout out to Ames. <laughs> Hi, Amy. Uh, okay, what's the next rule? Number so, 10. rule number 11. Now, listen up. <clears throat> oh, that many rules? Boy. Yes, girl, we had rules. Rule number 10. Don't leave your hoes behind. Round up the whole group mm-hmm. before you go anywhere and have a plan A, B, and C. And then some say, after. especially a plan B. Oh, yeah. You know. Carnival babies are fun. Hey. Nope. So, you know, have a plan A. Just round up the troops, you know, even if you plan to leave, just be like, all there. I'm gone. But here's my number. Call me, baby. Y'all know I master disappear. Well, I master disappear when I'm drunk and I'm upset. I take a walk. You take a walk or you go and sit in your car if you drove? Knows me yeah, oh. it's like if you want to find Ron, you don't see her. First thing to check is the car. I'm okay, but the car because I can't do it no more. I need a break. <laughs> so anyone want me, man? I in San Francisco, German next time after man. <laughs> if you can't find me, you know it's there. You find me, yeah, in a booth. Okay. Wasn't that true? Yeah. Number eleven. Yeah. Twelve. That was eleven. <clears throat> So, but then B also put in, don't underestimate the power of Prosecco. That is very important. Yeah. No, not as well. I mean, Prosecco nights usually lead to some really interesting nights. Yes. It will be. I don't know. I wouldn't know. I'm sober as well. So we're lying, right? Okay, cool. Yeah. You almost just let me know in advance, you know. Whenever I'm being serious. Come to. <laughs> Rule. <laughs> I'm sick of myself. Rule number 12, according to me, if you talk cute and have a nice man call me, I want to be a starfish. Honestly, I'm sick of myself. Goodbye. If you oh. talk cute and have a nice. And have a nice man call me, I want to be a starfish. Oh. Huh. All for right. those who don't understand just think of a starfish in water and see how they did that's how she wants to be honestly I'm very sick of I'm sick of myself I'm not sick of you but you are sick of me I mean she's super cute though so somebody make my friend a starfish uh, <laughs> I think Daryl could put her number right up there and you want to bamba Put the email. want to chill with the big boys, huh? When I, when I, she's a big boy, they should want to mm-hmm. That's true. I like the kind of big boy. Anyway, guys, <laughs> number 13, have a, according to Giselle, this is one word, guys, spend a night. <laughs> and it's spelled S P E N N A N I G H T. It is a spin a night bag. Spin a night. It's a spin a night bag. Honestly, I think that's very important. Yes. Fresh underwear. Because honestly, you know when you go to a party in like your really cute light colored clothes and like, you know, you're not bumping. So, you know, you stay in somebody's place for the night and then you had to go home. And when you look down, 
all the drinks of yesterday is on your clothes. Yeah. So you just look grimy. And you went into the house under the cover of night thinking that you still look good. Yeah, and you never know. Maybe I'll go for breakfast. That you actually look washed out. You look not not where you wish you look washed out because you just look like a coloring book. All kind of thing on, on your clothes. Oh, Guinness. Oh, Guinness. Oh, Rum. Somebody, somebody always spills something on you, honestly. Just know, don't, don't even get upset. Things will be spilled on you. It is what it is. It's it's the effect of being in a party. And okay. it is, all the parties are going to be very full. So you're going to have stuff on you. So just have a little, a little bag of, I guess, essentials. A yeah, necessities. A jeans, a short pants, a, a dress, toothbrush. a toothbrush. I used to have like mouthwash and stuff and like band-aids. Because you just never know when you have a little. You went full mom. I used to have it. Band-aids? That's good. Why you used to have the mouthwash? Because I like to be fresh. Fresh, fresh. You want to match my log dick? Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I did not expect that from B at least. You, why not? <laughs> oh, I give B so much credit <laughs> unnecessarily. Ooh. Ooh. That's funny. Thank you so much. She, she, we are all one person, you know. We are. <laughs> one more really person than the other sometimes, but one dirty brain. <laughs> Absolute filth. Filth. Oh, it's sickening. Who's sickening? Sickening, sickening. I think that was like maybe the last of our rule, but I think we had one. No, no, we had more. Maybe 15. We had 15. 15. I had put in one. One, five. No, we had 12, 13, 14, 15. This is me responding after. Yes. (laughs) A million messages from y'all, and I show up like, oh, shoot. What did I miss? After. I'm like telling her more, and she's like, huh? (laughs) <laughs> oh my gosh alright so rule number 14 <clears throat> listen up y'all pick your battles in the dance if you want to get fuck after sorry if it's going somewhere that would demonetize us we always do this say the word say the word if you want to get fuck after I mean we could we could we could we could, we could transpose transcribe and re- you know we, we know synonyms if you want to if you want a toti, don't be a pokey. <laughs> oh no. No man, oh, no. no man. That's going on a shirt for sure though. For sure, for sure. If you don't if you don't want the toti, don't be a pokey. Oh my god. <laughs> that wow. Stop. That's great. I'm, I'm literally writing this one down. <laughs> <laughs> It has to stay. It has to stay. Oh, wow. I know my cold, but when I had that don't somebody too. put something in this Guinness I'm drinking because Bro. this the hell. <laughs> that was a good one. Though. It was really good though. Very good. I'm very I'm very happy about this one. <laughs> oh Lord. So no, but also it's a very good thing. It's a it's it's a smart thing. Be wise, don't forget the prize. Make sure that you know. That's Sorry. a good one too. Be wise. Don't forget the fries. Just make sure that you know if that's where you, that's where you're going for a day, then. But also, don't put away your upsetness because if you're probably in right to be upset. Well, I wasn't thinking of only upsetness or something. I just thinking if you choose your battles and things. So if that's where you want to be over, so then. Go over so if that's where you want to be, if that's your thing, if direct approach is your thing, then make a beeline. But if you're in around the rosy, like me, make a C line because you would never reach somebody who had to push you. You make a C line. She thought, oh, God. Oh, we're on a roll today. Haters, haters, haters everywhere. Haters everywhere. But you know, let me, simplify, it makes let me simplify what Giselle trying to say. Stand up where you want to lie down. I don't want to lie down. That is it. And if you know you don't want to lie down, then do not stand up. 
Yes. I want if your Nora is not where you want to lie down, then don't stand up, please. Oh, Keep okay. it moving. Because if two songs play, you're lying down here. <laughs> <laughs> I like all if two songs. If two songs play, you lie down here, right here. Rock a bye, baby. Ah ah. Okay. Ah ah. Okay. Ah uh-uh. ah. Okay. Words to the wise. There was an addition to number three. I'm, 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 I'm make sure you know. I, I, I do everything. There was a there was an addition to number three, which was discuss your fets with your crew. We need to know who will be there and how to behave. Blah blah. blah. So. In addition to that is discuss your problems, a.k.a. them and them. First, for if, if it's them yell them for you, catch it. Discuss it with your crew because we need to know what's going on. And that's just what it is. If you and so-and-so vex or you and so-and-so have an agreement, don't lie to your friends because if we see something, you might say something. And then, you know, if you already know what's going on. We want to, you know, add upsetness to your vibes. Yeah. So, so forget that. No problems for August 2022 because refer to whatever was the first rule. We've been inside for too long. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. But crazy. your crew should know. Your crew should definitely know what's going on with you. You should be able to stay in the right direction too. Yeah. You know. Some if there's like, a girl is and you're dealing with she and she and she. If you're doing that, then your brother's supposed to be able to, you know, intercept and be like, hey, what's going on? You know, or. Yeah. I, think, I think what happened is maybe some of us, you know, we, 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 the truth is outside real fun. And we want a bamba. We want a bamba. But do we remember how? That's the thing. People do not remember how to bamba. They say you never forget how to ride a bicycle, but. Just be a little shaky for the first couple of pedals, and that's where we are right now. Yeah, the shakiness is definitely there, but it's just pure vibes on thing. Just pure vibes on thing. Yeah, I already forgot. Just going out to have a good time. Is there any one event that any of you is particularly looking forward to this season? Ooh. By the time this airs? No, not by the time this airs. Just for anything, really. Well, coming up, like I'm actually very excited for Crave this weekend. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I feel What's like this weekend? Crave. That's Boise. Mm. I love me some Boise. I'm me too. I want to Rose's birthday the most, I think. What did you decide? What's going on for your birthday? I want to do a great Gatsby theme. <laughs> like, oh, yes. like end the 20s, you know? Kind of thing. Love it. My knees are fifty, but I'm turning thirty. Oh, it'll be cute. I am looking forward to that as well. Yeah. Um, I'm not looking. I'm looking forward to something, but like, it's not even. But, <laughs> Could be. <laughs> but um, yeah. yeah. I'm just looking forward to this season now. I'm actually really looking forward to playing Pretty Mass Monday and Tuesday. Oh, and okay. club, I'm looking forward to host party because, like, that was usually before I used to start like going out, going out. Host party was like one fet that I would do, and then maybe soak a monarch in a VIP for like five minutes and then go home and sleep. <laughs> so I'm very excited for host party. It's the weirdest thing. Every time I want to get excited about an event, I keep thinking about how tired I would feel during and after. (laughs) Somehow, that's all I can think about. Like, I'm excited, you know, I'm looking forward to wearing my clothes and my shoes again because, you know, a, a, a lot of our closets were on pause for most of... Well, they were supposed to be on pause for most of... (laughs) <laughs> the only one in 2020, but then Baha came. So, oh my you know, gosh, he's me. Um, <laughs> can I just add before you finish, Yance? If all you know, all you go in a long time and you, you didn't buy new shoes, yes, so them them shoes. The whole, nah, just even does it, I'll get new ones. 
Oh, because I'm sure I'm will embarrass you. Yeah, get new shoes. Get new shoes immediately. Get new Did shoes. Did you say that children will embarrass you? No, girl, I'm shoes. I'm sure will embarrass you. One time I went out in 2020, in the ends of it, I went out with heels, but the heels are much older than the slippers I brought. I brought the slippers as backup. By the time I put on the slippers and I walk out the car, the slippers will open him out so. And I was on the ground. I say, ah, ah, I'm back on my heels now. Awesome. Get new shoes one time, doggy. Because them things will embarrass you. Wow. But outside, nice guys. I mean, it's enjoyable. Do it with um responsibility. I feel like we've been doing responsible outsiding. Um. My problem is sometimes I don't remember the I don't remember certain things. Like I tell people things. And but be responsible. Me with my bad memory, try and play clue to remember what she said. Like if I remember what I said yesterday or two seconds ago. Yeah. It's be bad. It's be bad. Because I just, you know, I jump out myself as Gary brave on the little corner. I just be saying things out of my mouth. Hold, but at least we're still responsible. You know, we make sure everybody's okay. We get home. Most of us say that we are home. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. Get home. Yeah. Yeah. Yams doesn't. Before, but also, you all know how my memory stay, right? So I reset. And by morning, I can remember nothing, including... I mean, I don't want to say how I reach home because that's going to sound real bad. But, you know, yeah. I, I keep it together. I don't get drunk, drunk. But it's just once I fall asleep and I wake up, I can't remember anything. You were I'm fine before I fall asleep. It's just once the sleep take me, that's it. Yeah. She's our Drew Barrymore in 51st Dates. She fall asleep. Reset. That's it. Reset. That's Reset. About the whole year and something she just had. <laughs> Oh God, poor thing. It's all right. Me and me and Giselle still try to figure out 2019. Look, I can't remember anything. Except that I have a ganglion. Huh. That's it. That's she, all I remember. She thinks that she hit someone. I'm very certain I hit somebody. I really certain I hit somebody. We don't know. That night is a blur, but then the police call us on the Monday and we were like, uh-uh. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So it was too eventful. I blame the rum punch. It was definitely the wrong part. It was really how Rohan yes, called friend, me. How is that not on the list? Don't, don't drink rum punch. Don't drink rum punch. I thought somebody was going to say don't drink and drive, but... I mean, also, guys, don't, don't drink, drink, drink too much and drive. Rum, rum punch. punch. Especially the one from Coconut Beach because that tastes like juice and it tastes so yummy. And then I don't even know how many I've had by the time I've left. Yeah. Too many. But to be honest, right, rum punch, and I need I need people to understand it because I've seen people got messed up on rum punch. Rum punch, my loves, is not a nighttime drink. Rum punch is a daytime drink. You have it between 12 and maybe 5 o'clock because you need to rest in between. Your body needs a little... Mm-hmm. You know, and and the, the hot sun, why they wouldn't feel great while drinking it, maybe while you're getting drunk. What it is, the sweat gonna help you get it out of you quick. You understand? So, Rohan, you always knew this. I knew it, but I didn't think I had to say it. I don't drink rum punch yeah, in the at night. At least could have tell us because <laughs> you don't what? That's why I don't drink. That. Okay, so this is why I really don't drink rum punch on. Thursday nights in Coconut Beach anymore. Anymore? After, yeah, no, because if I want certain results, I'll drink it. Yes, I'm. But after 2019, the fact that we're still trying to pull those memories out of thin air to figure out what really happened and bits and pieces came to us months after is a problem. Yes, I'm. So I had to like come to the conclusion that rum punch is a daytime drink. I need to drink it during the day, brunch time. You, we stop at three. We don't go past four. You understand? And we keep it pressed. We keep moving. 
you cannot drink this thing in the night because the bad decisions happen in the nighttime, especially after 12 o'clock. And that is why we had a curfew of 12. If nobody will understand why the curfew was 12 o'clock for so long, this is why. After 12 o'clock, I, 12 12 o'clock curfew. I will not lie. That yes. shit. I was, was loving that beautiful. curfew. It, made it was my great. So I tell you, I'm very sure we said all of this at the beginning already, but we were well rested. Yes. I was so well rested. <clears throat> I was in school in 20, I was still in school and I would go out and come back and do work for school in the morning. No, could be not. Could never. Just enjoy your carnival. Just enjoy your summer. Wherever you are, have a good time. Don't try and make up for two years in one go, as we say. Well, have a good time. If you're enjoying outside, you're enjoying outside. If you like to go by bars for a small time, then that's cool. If you want to do it big, like how them just be going out every weekend, then do it big. But whatever you decide to do, do it sponsibly. Just go and wash your hands. Wash your hands. Yeah, please, please. Just wash your hands. Stop washing the hands and cough in your sleeve. Oh yeah, I hate that. Don't be nasty. But really and truly, like have a very responsible season because yeah. it's and really, please. it's really, it's pressure a whole, whole season long. Yeah. So, is Grenada's uh, carnival the first one in the Caribbean? Cough in your sleeve and pull up. That's all. I think maybe, maybe the first to be announced, if anything, but no. Nah. I think crop over is happening this year. Oh, crop over before, before, after. Yeah, I think it's before. Okay. It's before. Before. Oh, yeah. right. I think we're going to be the, the last. Yeah, oh, I think I was the last before the America set starts to happen. Yeah. Aw, ours. Really excited. It's going to be a good time, but just be safe. And for the foreigners, yes, Grenada is safe. Absolutely. But it doesn't use mean common that you sense. have your peace. Yeah, use common sense. Use your P's and Q's and be on it because you please, know what? Please, please, please. Don't try to bat with them cricketers. Right, them cricketers who does drink plenty, do not try to battle the cricketer. All right. Someone offers you rivers or class quotes, say no. Yeah. Don't try and battle the cricketers. Don't do it. Battle the crease sweet. If you know you like wine, drink wine. Not because somebody taking multiple shots of on under the counter should you bamba with them. Please don't bamba too far outside of your crease. Yeah. Just be smart. Okay. Or you will find yourself vomiting outside of Esther's. Not you will Esther's. find yourself vomiting outside of Esther's. And that wasn't even for me. That didn't fall for me at all. It didn't fall for me. I never vomited outside of Esther's. Same. <laughs> I may have. Yeah. yeah. I feel like that's good advice. I think that's sound advice. You should be thanking us. We will hold for a thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. This is we do this for you, for the people. For the people, then. Yeah, the rules were as much for the for the for the peoples as they were for us as well. We needed to remind ourselves of you know. Yeah, yeah. What well, we I particularly like the one about you know, let your friends know your business so that they know that that's essential for us. And we say in your friends, eh? Your party friends aren't necessarily your friends. That's take, true. Eh? Take, it easy, take it easy. But let somebody know what you're doing and what you're about. Yep. Like, I remember having like a D appointment and telling my friends, just so you know where I am. Like, this is where I'm at. Share your location. Share your location with your friends. iPhone people, I don't know about Android, how they do that. But share your location. What's with- an Android again? <laughs> Don't be a dick. Don't be a dick. <laughs> Nothing like that. I promise. But seriously, share your location with people. Let people know what you're like, what you're gonna do. You know what you're about, and who you're going about doing it with. Because it's really safety first. I don't want to see no headlines about people missing. That's not something. Yeah, but you just never know. People get kind of out of hand, and the driving gets crazy. Like I don't want to. I don't want to see none of that nonsense. It's not about. Yeah, get friends like Rohan and Yans, who when I went out without them for the first time, because these bitches, anyway, um, 
I told them I was going out and, you know, Ayana kept her notifications on, I believe. I and Ro was listening, like, you know, paying attention to messages and stuff. I had a great time, you know, without my usual people. However, they were red tea. Yeah. They were red tea. So yeah. have those. You have to have a plan. Always have a plan. Plan A, B, and C. We said that. Listen, you don't have to listen to all the rules there, but the important ones you listen to. Also, if your friend asks you to go to the royal tell them go. Well, that's enough. That was it. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. That was okay. it. That was it. That was it. Mm-hmm. I mean, listen. Like... Whenever you're ready. I'm ready to be outside waiting just in case I anything. I can sleep in my car. I will be having a pillow in my car this kind of because a nap will be had mm. wherever. I believe in naps. My problem with naps is that they always become sleeps. <laughs> yeah. Very for yeah, for your hands, for sure. If you are Ayana, if you are the Ayana in your friend group, go take the nap. Eh? <laughs> just talk about stay Nobody. There. Don't bother, don't bother, don't bother. I don't anybody fed this year, but if it happened, it will happen. I'll have a pillow and sheet in my, in my car. I'm going to have a pillow, sheet, and a cooler in my vehicle at all times this carnival. Because the last time me and Giselle went up, where we went, boy? What do you call that devil place again? St. David's? Went up St. David's? I couldn't, I couldn't make the drive down. It wasn't easy. And like, yeah. I fall asleep at the wheel. So if you know you're that friend, pull up. I pull up. Pull and we pull up and we sleep. We and it was a nice sleep too. It was a nice little sleep. I didn't sleep for long. It was just a nice little shut eye. It was like, all right, I have I have energized myself. I could drop you home. Even if I sleep in front, I've slept in front of Giselle's gate before. Sleep. She refused to come down inside, but you know. But now I was, you see, sometimes you have to have parents that understand the flight to her. Mommy and I had come for me. I was like, great. We didn't think. So. <laughs> yeah, just make sure and be safe, guys, and have a good old time. Yeah. Have a great time because I've been survived in- a pandemic and it feels great to be outside again. Yeah. So have fun and have fun with your people. We want y'all to have a good time. So yeah, I've been enjoying the time with these bitches. And we enjoyed this time with y'all. I think this podcast was really fun and it gave us a chance, an excuse to talk to each other very often. Yep. Yes. You know, we, already we didn't need that. any more excuses. We didn't need any more excuses, but you know, it gave us time to like have serious conversations about things too. You know, and I think we opened up more to each other just because we had that podcast. Yeah. So, you yeah. know. I appreciate y'all and I appreciate this first season. Hello. Thank you, ladies. Yeah. Thank you. And Thank to everybody you. who has made an appearance or anybody who helped us in any kind of way. And Thank you for listener. believing in our dream and making it happen for the first season. We are going to take a necessary break so that we could um prepare the content properly. Yeah. And but also, also, also party. We wanna be outside and bumble. We wanna be outside. Without having to worry too much about coming back in time. Yeah, and having to tell you all about it. <laughs> I think we will. We will definitely post on stories and like sort of keep like some sort of summer series content just so y'all yeah. see what we're up to, you know. And if you want to hang out with us, we are open to the love, man. Yeah. yeah, because I think somebody came up on our cruise and was like, I listen to y'all podcast. Really? Um, yeah. I'm not me feeling like a little local celebrity. <laughs> it is even matter to get on. I put on shades. I put up my locks. This so. Stop. So do we just start working with pens now? Are we? Her favorite. With brands? Is that what you said? Hmm? You say start working with brands? Is that what you said? No, pens, bro. I mean, we can work with brands too. Hey, holla at us. We drink. You know, not even trying to give autographs, yo. <laughs> or do you all want to stamp with your autograph? I feel like I feel yeah, like we need an entourage. Okay. We need a little bouncer to be like step back, step back. We get a big sexy security. I love a big sexy security. A big sexy. Clearly, we get in ahead of ourselves. 
Don't so speak it into existence. Exactly. No, but like thank you so like much security. for supporting us the way that you have. We have a lot of very nice supporters right here in Grenada. I know people in Trinidad. How far have we reached the US and Canada? I think Germany. <clears throat> Yeah. Yeah. Romania. So we really, we really appreciative of everything. And you all take part in this too with those fish bowls and being so vulnerable with your stories and telling us your different things. We appreciate that because now we have some to, you know, some to work with. We we get to get to discuss you as you get to listen about us. So that was really it was really nice. Thanks for telling us your business, really, Andrew. Thank you for yeah. telling us your business. We, we, we don't talk about it. Trusting us with that. We don't share anything. You know, yeah, so all of you, all of you, thank you so much. We love you. Please let us know what you want to hear us talk about. If you think that there are people, local brands or regional brands or even international brands that you think that we could collaborate with, please send us some DMs or something. If you want to collaborate with us and you make sense for what we do or we make sense for what you do, Tell us to. I really trying to get on ships and gigs and we because those them. guys are hilarious and those accents. Okay, Drake look like real nice. Woo! The dark skin one. Hello. Hey yo. Hey, you're thirsty. Are you so much now? I drink water, but what's in is I like. I like them. I like their style of stuff when they do their their icks and all of that. So you know. And that's where I trying to get. However, if you know that we should be collaborating with anyone or doing anything, please let us know. Or if you're interested, let us know so that we could work on our content for the next season. We hope to make things bigger and better. And, uh, you know, just more of the shits because we will have stories for you after this particular season. I really try not to have one, eh? but yeah. By then, Giselle hopes I have a little shoddy, a, a tallish shoddy, a shoddy, a shoddy of her own. A shortest, you know. Perhaps. I want that for you, Giselle. I want it for myself too. You know, I want it for my friends though, who want it as well. But I, in particular, by by time, you know, a little shoddy that you know I could say, die, die, my shoddy. You know? I'll just refer to you as my shorties. <laughs> and I don't have to be arrested, man. It pained me to say it. From where we started in the season episode one to where we are now. Oh, wow. <laughs> I would love to start the next season. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not a vocalist, but I would like to start the next season dedicating a song to my friends who, you know, would have made use of the next couple months and manifested their dreams and you know yeah i want i want love for all of you because you never see it coming but the next thing you know i want it for all of y'all as well eh? <laughs> you never see like- it coming but the next thing you know unconditional love we are looking for more time. I hope it slaps us all in the face. I don't want to be in love with You don't want to be in love with nobody? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I set my expectations. He has already started the trend. We're going to have to change the podcast name to Wife No Chaser. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. This girl. Wife No Chaser sounds lit, though. All right. All right. <laughs> Y'all vote on that one. We'll vote, we'll vote on that. You can give the audience something to say, you know? Woo! Do you like wife no chaser? I don't know about wifeisms, you know, but you know, a little shorty, a little tall shorty. If you like wife no chaser, send a ring. <laughs> a week. Um, I feel like that. I should put in the, the oh, 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 oh. Uh, uh, right here just you know because just because just because but i believe that you know comes the end of our episode and the finale for the season yeah fair, fun fair fun fair fun fair it was really nice spending this time with you and of course sharing our expertise and our wisdom because 
we out here and we live in a life, so we know what to tell it to do. Um, please continue to support us. Follow us at straightnotchaser.podcast on Instagram and look at the link in our bio to your preferred streaming platform to listen to us. And if you want to see our face, Straight No Chaser podcast on the YouTube, straight with a comma. Because if you're going to put a comma, there's the, um, there's the acapella. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Big up them too. Big up all Big up you. Love it. Love to see it. Love to hear it. But also, we want people to find us too now. So, you know, straight, comma, no chaser on the YouTube. It was a nice episode, guys. Bye, guys. Bye.